Kelly Ripa appears uneasy as she braves the bitter cold New York City snowfall while wearing a $1.70 K Canada goose coat. Kelly, 53, was out and about in the bitterly cold weather while New York was experiencing a snowfall. She braved the storm on Tuesday while seen wearing multiple layers. The topmost garment that caught the attention of onlookers was a lengthy, bulky Canada goose parka jacket. The live host's parka coat, which she was wearing, cost an incredible $1,650. In an effort to keep her as warm as possible, her jacket reached her chin and her knees. Kelly has a red and white patch on her upper arm and silver hardware on her black jacket. She wore black snow boots and layered a gray sweatshirt and black workout pants under her jacket. While on vacation, Kelly flaunted her real skin next to her 52-year-old husband Mark's scruffy face. Kelly rested on a pillow that was pressed up against her husband's lap as the two posed together on a sofa. She smiled at the camera, her hair styled in a gentle twist, and she had no makeup on. Mark, who had a cigar burning in his mouth and a somewhat scruffy beard, turned to face the camera. There was more of the sofa behind them, as well as an open window that Kelly had covered with a sticker that looked like snow. On the NBC show Live, 55-year-old guest actress Jane Krakowski defeated Mark at his own game. Jane participated in the Jane Krakowski edition of Stump Mark, a game on live. When given true and false statements about a contestant to choose from, if Mark is unable to correctly identify the true statements about the contestant, the player wins. Mark was stumped by the host of Name That Tune, who was clearly having a great time and giving away no hints as to which statement was true. The final round saw a lot of tension build as Mark found it difficult to understand the final two statements that were provided to him regarding Jane. I loved the musical Rent so much that I went to see it twice. 20 times, according to I competed in a NJ ice skating competition and was invited to compete in Lake Placid, were the claims made by Jane.